Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to another zoo video. I'm just gonna get straight into it today. Um, it's been a bit too long since I recorded another one of these. You know, like I kind of sort of started a series back up and then stopped. So we're gonna keep going. Um, I'm hoping it's not gonna show up, but there's a lot of buzzing in the background. I don't know. My computer's being stupid. Literally didn't change anything in the settings. Sometimes it's buzzy. Sometimes it's echoey. So, um, at least buzzing is an improvement from echoing. And, uh, there's a bunch of sheep. I don't know why mobs won't stop spawning. I already have a sword. Also, I think I might just go with emo creatures. Elephants, because they don't make that noise. And this dome over here is going to be today's enclosure. We are going to turn this dome into an indoor enclosure, sort of. So the viewing is going to be on the outside, but the animals are going to be on the inside. So it's kind of backwards, you know. Usually, sometimes you'd have a building for viewing. We're going to flip it around. And today's special animal is going to be the Tasmanian Devil, which lives in Australia. Let's get started with maybe the viewing windows. What kind of glass do we feel? I think, uh, no, not a glass pane. Maybe the steel framed. Didn't have any glass in this enclosure. Sometimes you just don't need glass for viewing. But obviously we're not going to do like a fence for like an indoor thing. I feel like something changed since last episode in this enclosure, but I can't pinpoint it. Man, these elephants are loud. Jeez. Let's turn that down real quick, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, I've adjusted my sound settings. Hopefully, it'll be less obnoxious. And I think for viewing windows, I want to knock off this front bit. Oh yeah, and it's it's already hollowed out. Like I think a window that big will be perfect. We can just do that on all sides. So what do we want to do for lighting? I think maybe just a skylight. This is cool glass. It looks pretty sturdy. These Tasmanian devils are crazy. Do I have do I have glass with less of a um Obnoxious streak. Like, is this less obnoxious? Oh, I could. I don't know. I don't really want to keep doing clear glass over and over again. From, um, Zoom Rot. Maybe some stained glass? Yeah, let's. Maybe. Could, let's. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just do, like, a small panel of it. Um, let's try. I'm just going to keep what, I ha what we have. Which is this gray bordered glass. It looks nice and secured. Maybe get rid of that. We're probably going to put wood there. Like, you know, maybe a wooden pathway slash walkway. But for now, I'll just fill it in. And then, knock that off. Is that the right, did they already give us the right shape for a skylight? It's not enough natural viewing. Or natural lighting. But it makes it better. Okay. Oh, and also, I um kind of got this idea from a chaotic craft video maybe I'll put it in the link in the description it was a dinosaur enclosure but it does kind of apply to this I'm just gonna leave that there because I'm gonna replace it with wood at some point anyway so I'm just gonna do this to the rest of the sides and I will be back with you guys I think I said the last time I took a cut so um Okay, all four sides are finished. I also got rid of, like, the three different types of glass we are not going to use. And I think maybe I should widen this. 
Yeah, maybe out by one. That is not correct. Um, oh, every side's good except this one. That? Yeah, now it's symmetrical again. Maybe this side. We'll just do that. Since we are opening it up a bit. Okay. Do I want to put glass there or do I keep it open? I think I can just keep it open. Lighting. I do have a couple mods with different types of lights, like Bibliocraft, but I want to go with something natural. So let's find the best chisel light. Mm, maybe this one? Not that one. Yeah, it looks the most natural. And yeah. Maybe this one? I think in every corner. Nope. Wrong button. We could go like this in every corner. So it's this level right there. Okay. That gives us plenty of lighting. <clears throat> we don't need a ton, but... Or does it look better? Kind of darkened. Okay, we have our desired desired location for lighting. We can change it at a later date if we want. Clearly our inventory. Um, leaves. Leaves are important. What kind of leaves do we want? I think those will look good. Maybe some yellow autumn leaves. Birch. Yeah. Okay. And then we just want to kind of do a bit of, oh, we can have it like growing up. All right. I like that. And maybe we can do a big tree in the middle. How big is a sacred oak? Um, we could try, where is the middle? For those of you who don't know, um, a sacred oak is something in Bombs Plenty, which is, it's a giant oak tree, basically. But if I make it too big, it messes up the whole kind of sphere. So maybe after we do a bit of vine work, I can go into a creative test world. I like that. Maybe we can kind of fuse those together better. Do a couple little bushes. Does look a bit weird that um, the modded leaves aren't the texture pack, but oh well. Maybe do something of this type. Have it turn oh turn it into autumn leaves. Maybe this one can turn into birch. Okay. Maybe we can have something hanging down. All right. Sorry, Mr. Piggy. Have that kind of going up. Then we just make it a bit more dense. Okay, I think that is enough leaves. I will be back. Mm. Maybe we have some coming up, up like that.
give it a bit of a base. Okay. Um, I'll be back and see if uh, Sacred Oak will work. <laughs> okay, I wasn't going to record this, but I put down these trees to test. Within seconds, I have all of this spawning. Like, I don't know how. Like, this is probably 10 seconds of these trees being down, and we have all of these mobs. Wh I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> He's running back. He's like, no. Okay, um. All right, I guess I'll be back when I decide the tree, I think. Wait, there's a zombie. There's a zombie in the tree. Okay. Um, I'll be back <laughs> when we have an actual decision. Okay, um, it looks like there's a pig in our enclosure. Let me just take care of that. Um, I decided to build my own tree. Now, it's definitely not a masterpiece, but it's not horrendous, so I'm going with it. I don't know, the, um, because I thought the sacred oak had, like, a big tree trunk and, like, a bunch of branches and stuff. But it's just a really big oak tree. It's not, I don't know, it just doesn't have that pizzazz. And I accidentally just put number lock on. Alright, um, anyway, let's just chuck that stuff up. Now I think we just need to look for some ground foliage. And maybe a water feature? What could we do as a water feature? Maybe we have some water running down from below here. Can I have it curve out a little? And it just kind of makes this little circular stream. I think that's good. And then we would just fill that with water. So, actually what we can do. Hmm. Now that I look at it. Um, 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 um. It could use some coarse dirt. Maybe some silty dirt. Maybe what we do. Which would be kind of like a bank. Yeah. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. I'll just show you guys what I have in mind. Look at this deeper. And then we would just make, you know, kind of a bank area. That's one lower. With some yeah, let's actually just a bunch of this into silty dirt. And core did I not get any oh that that's normal course dirt. This is silty dirt. More course dirt. Oh wait, no. I don't want to replace the blocks over here. I want to make it deeper. And then we do that. Sorry if this is, you know, dragging along and a little bit boring. But, just, I don't know. And then what we would do is, because this is one higher, if I take my water bucket, fill it up over here, and do a little bit of mob edit magic. I think if I go, boom, replace air with can't spell air 
with water. There we go. Yeah, and it's kind of flowing down from off the tree. I don't know why it's not even over here, though. I want it to flow a little bit, but if you have flowing water, if you have too much flowing water, um, the AI of some Minecraft creatures will just try to swim up the entire time, and they're not going to be able to. So they're just constantly going to be bobbing up and down. Just want to do some clumps, maybe some pod. How do you spell it? Oh, podzol. And then, yeah, you just want to kind of... I'm going to get rid of most of the grass and make it really, you know, like, dirty. And then I will be right back with you guys quickly, though. Is there any other kind of dirt? And biomes are plenty. Loamy dirt. This is the stuff I want. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I'll be back in a second. All right, um, most of the, <coughs> whoa, most of the grass is gone. I left a couple of pieces, you know, like under the bush, over there, and over there. Also had to fix the river a little bit. It is less curvy now, but at least we have this bank area, because I don't want them to get stuck. If, like, the whole thing was like this, then they would get in the water and then never get out. I don't know, sometimes the AI in Minecraft is just kind of derpy. So now we need to look for some foliage. We have enough leaves. Um, algae is what? Uh, let's do some... I have a couple of lily pads. No trees. I guess we can do that. That. Some different leaf piles. Clover pad, yeah. Okay. This will be our ground cover to start with. We'll do two of those, and a few of those, and then clover patch. Kind of dot this around. Do some dead leaves. Definitely a lot more leaves than anything else. Like such berry bushes. That should be plenty of those, and then these koru things. I don't really know what they are, but I think they'll go good in this enclosure. Man, skipping over some stuff. Alright, um, back down. Make some sprout, yeah. Yeah. Thorns, hopefully those don't do damage to them. Um... Damp grass. Yeah, I, this is kind of like a dampy area. That's what I'm going for. Yeah. Some mushrooms will go great. And then we can do some vines. And I think we're pretty much good. As long as we don't put the vines in the opening, if we put them like along here, they won't be able to climb out. Oh, the clover patch looks like that. I thought it would be like the leaf pile. Oh, well, I'm still going to keep it. We've got one right there. Devil weed. I want this to be dense, but not horribly dense. Thorns. Oh, yeah, I can't put those on a bush. The... Oh, you know what? We could go with, um, where's that thing in the desert? It's like, uh, dead something. Dead bush. I don't know why I couldn't think of just bush. It's pretty plain and simple. We could put some of those in here, too. I think that'll give it a nice touch. You know, it's like, it's kind of like, um, 
dead and alive at the same time, this enclosure. Thorns, I think I already have some of the, yeah, and then you just do a little bit of damp grass. And our mushrooms. I think this is the perfect lighting level. Just not expecting, mm, I don't like that mushroom. Let me go through the all. What did I just pick up? Oh. Yeah, no thanks on that one. I don't remember mushrooms looking like that. Uh, we can do some shadow mush. Maybe it only places on stone. A couple of glowing mushrooms. I think that is pretty good. Oh, nope, I don't want to do that, so it gets rid of them. Um, we're going to need a food barrel. Oh, that's the chisel page. What's this? Oh, daffodil. <laughs> food. Um, what is our block to make the feeder? I think maybe you can dark oak wood. Where is it? Yeah, dark, dark oak. No, no, no. This one. I think they eat meat. I'm not sure. We're going to need the Tasmanian devils. Oh, devil weed in the Tasmanian devil enclosure. That's funny. Oh. All right, and then we need the... <sighs> Wait, what was that? Oh, factory block. Alright. What was it? Oh, yeah, data. I don't know how I got FAS out of data. And then we just put down the toys and we're good. Okay, food barrel maybe here and here. Okay. And then we just put down a little stinker. Oh, it's a little baby. Oh, it runs so fast. Do you see how fast his legs are moving? Oh, variant three. They must have quite a few different colors. They eat bones. All right. And they like tire skins and brushes. So I guess let's just get some meat. Pretty sure like they like pork chops. Here, you can get the, the bonus pork chop from the... um. I'm gonna call it and a tire swing. Obviously, we're gonna need more. Maybe one just like that. One coming off the tree corner and right there. I think that's that's actually that adds a nice touch to it. I'm gonna put a few more. Usually I don't like putting tire swings in exhibits. Well, usually I don't like it because it wants to put like a giraffe in a tire swing. And we're just like, no. Okay, one, three, four. Let's go seven. Six, seven. Maybe one more. I think this is a cool enclosure. Oh, last episode. Um, I made the food barrel. This, yeah, this block. I did notice that it makes that weird patch. And they're leaves, right? I saw something. I think I was just messing around with the mod. What you can do is... Because obviously, th these fill it all the way up. I'm going way ahead of myself here. I grab this. If we go back over to the Tasmanian Devil Enclosure. If we disguise this as glass... It does that, and it looks bad. But, I think it would look good like that. That looks cool. Was there any other feeders? Alright. Second exhibit, I think that's pretty cool. I'll probably add some boardwalk things off camera. So, um, if you enjoyed this enclosure video... 
hit that subscribe button to stay tuned i'm gonna be trying to uploading more of these i've been just uploading like crazy with my minecraft dinosaur survival because i think that's my favorite thing to do right now <laughs> in quarantine so anyway guys thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one later